Hey there! Welcome back! Today I want to talk about cross entropy, probably the most important loss function for classification problems in neural networks. Imagine we have a neural network trying to classify an input into one of three categories A, B, or C. The network gives us a prediction like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 meaning it thinks there is a 20% chance it's class A, 30% for B, and 50% for C. If the true label is 001 or class C, how do we measure how wrong our prediction is? You might think to just take the absolute difference or use the mean squared error. These seem reasonable, but they are actually not great choices for classification. I've explained why in another video. Essentially, these loss functions don't create strong enough gradients when our predictions are confidently wrong. This is where cross entropy comes in. It's a concept from information theory that measures the difference between two probability distributions. The formula is HPQ is equal to minus sum P of i log of Q of i where p is our true distribution and q is our predicted distribution. Let's break this down with some examples. If our model makes a perfect prediction, giving 100% to the correct class, the cross entropy would be near zero. If it's completely wrong, giving 100% to the wrong class, cross entropy would be extremely high, approaching infinity. For a typical case where our model is partially right but uncertain, we'd get a moderate value. Cross entropy has its roots in information theory, introduced by Claude Shannon in 1948, and it measures uncertainty in probability distributions. You can simply think of it as the average bits needed to encode events from that distribution. Cross entropy builds on this, measuring how many bits you need if you used your prediction to encode events from the true distribution. And the Kyle divergence measures the extra bits wasted due to using the wrong distribution. And they are related by the following formula. So cross entropy equals the entropy of the true distribution plus the wasted bits from using your prediction. In neural networks, there is an important detail. Network outputs aren't probabilities. And they are unbounded values called logits. To convert them to probabilities, we use the softmax function, which for an array of numbers z, the value of zi is equal to e raised to the power of zi divided by the sum of e to the power of zj for all j. This ensures that all values are between 0 and 1 and sum up to 1. Softmax and cross entropy are typically used together often combined into a single softmax cross-entropy operation. One implementation detail worth noting is that for large logit values, the direct computation can cause numerical overflow because exponentials grow fast. We address this with the log sum exponent trick, which reconverts the softmax function as depicted here. This way, the largest exponent becomes e to the power of 0, which is equal to 1, preventing overflow. And that's it for this video. I hope you now understand cross entropy better, what it is, its information theory roots, and how it works with softmax. This knowledge helps you not just implement neural networks correctly, but also understand why they work the way they do. Please hit the like button if you found this explanation helpful. Share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to be up to date with the content I create on this channel. I would like to give a big thanks to everyone supporting this channel, including my Patreons and YouTube members. Consider joining them if you'd like to help me create more content. Your support makes these videos possible. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye!